One of the new features that we find will be very powerful to help us close out the year is the new reconciliation tool uh, that can be found on the statements page. By going into statements, you'll pull up a month at a time, so it's a, a single period of time you can do it for. For this one, we'll do October. You would come in, you would grab a copy of your statement, and off of the statement, when you view it, you're going to take note of the beginning and ending dates and balances. You're going to need to put in the dates and the beginning balance right off the bat, and I'll show you that now. Coming into the statement screen, select the account that you want. You're going to do your date range, so we'll do October for this period, and then we'll put in the beginning balance that we had as it shows on the statement, and then you're going to run Calculate. By doing this, it's going to be able to show you how many debits and credits, the quantities, as well as the total amounts, and then most important is your ending balance. So if we compare the ending balance to the statement, we'll see that we have the exact same amount. So this means that all the transactions are accounted for, there's no duplicates, there's no missing information whatsoever. To prove that point, I'm going to go in here, and now let's go to transactions, and I'm going to mess up a couple on purpose for us. So we'll open up my transactions. We'll filter our period of time back to the same period. And don't forget to select the, the filter up at the top here and then click filter to activate the filter itself. Um, and let's take these first two items, I'm going to click them from the new remove buttons that are on the side here, and I'm going to come up to actions, I'm going to remove them. Sure you want to remove them? Yep. And once that's done, they're now gone. So let's go back, I'm going to go to my reconciliation tool again and run the exact same test, and now we should see a discrepancy between the statement and what was actually here. So we go select our account, put the amount in, hit calculate, and now we have an ending balance of 7854.15. Different than, of course, our ending balance here. The other features that you really could take advantage of at this point in time, depending on your statement and the information they give you, but we have, of course, our additions and subtractions right here on our statement. So we can use those to match the debit and credit values to get an idea of where the challenge is at. If your statement has the number of transactions, that's very powerful as well. So now we're stuck and we've found that we're missing a couple transactions or there's there's a you know something missing for some reason. How do we fix it? The best way to go through and to fix this is to come in, for these accounts, go up to your account summary, and you're going to do a manual update. Now, when you do a manual update to pull the information, you can pull up to 90 days of information. If it's further past, then you would still need to uh, reach out to the good folks at Ledger Sync and they can help you try to get further back as necessary. Um, so I'll come up here, click Manual Update, and let it go through the process. So our account has been updated. Uh, you can actually tell in the corner up here, it's going to show you the last update, the last execution. Now, let's go back to our statements once again. We're going to run the exact same test, and now all of our transactions should be back and accounted for. Keep in mind, with the new remove feature, if your challenge is that you had duplicate transactions for any reason, you could just remove them and then rerun the test to confirm that you've got the correct amount of transactions. So now we're back to 17465.74, 17465.74.
If you've got additional questions or looking for some advice, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly at info at parkwaymail.com. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.